Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, don't touch that dial. Listen to... <laughs> It's another half hour of fun with Blondie and Dagwood, with Arthur Lake as Dagwood, Anne Rutherford as Blondie, and Hanley Stafford as Mr. Dithers. And now for our weekly visit with your neighbors to Bumsteads of Shady Lane Avenue. Well, last week the Bumsteads and the Dithers left for France where Dagwood and Mr. Dithers are going to supervise the planning of a housing project. On the boat, Dagwood managed to offend a French fellow traveler to the point where Dagwood was finally challenged to a duel. Well, imagine his surprise when he found out that this man is Pierre Dupre, one of the most influential in the country, and the one man he must get along with in France. Ah, but now the boat has docked, and at last the Bumsteads and the Dithers are in France. So the problem of the duel and Monsieur Dupre has been forgotten for the moment. Blondie and Cora and Alexander have gone on ahead to get on the boat train for Paris, while Dagwood and Mr. Dithers are going through customs. Well, you, you better come over here, Mr. Dithers. Here's where we go through the customs. You mean it's where customs goes through us? Uh, yeah. uh, George, come on! I'll do my way! I will kill him! Well, 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 holy smoke, that's the man who challenged me to a duel. Hey, look, quick, let, let me hide behind you, Mr. Diddy. Okay. Yeah, well, you see, I will choke the life out of him. Where did that man go? He rode off that away. I'll take the shortcut through the canyon, head him off at Eagle Pass. When I find him again, I will kill him! <laughs> he, he, he didn't see me, did he? Oh, my. Hey, uh, Mr. Diddy. Wow. You, what, what's the matter? I'm smuggling a lot of stuff into France. Yeah. Uh, I got so much junk tied to me under this coat, I look like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Hey, but what are you smuggling into France? Perfume? <laughs> Certainly. In France, it'll be imported stuff. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I got tins of food and plenty of cigarettes and chocolate bars. Mm. Yeah, what are the chocolate bars for? Well, the soldiers told me they got wonderful results with chocolate bars. <laughs> It made everybody love them. <laughs> oh, here, here comes the French customs officer. Ah, oh, bonjour, monsieur. Yeah, uh, oh, yes, nice day, isn't it? Yes. Oh, Bromstead. Yeah. You're in France now. Speak French. Oh. Our lugage avec clothes in it, it is there. Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a Frenchman, n'est-ce pas? Ah! <laughs> oh, no, you will have a wonderful time here. Ah, you will see the beautiful women of Paris. <laughs> oh, my love, you will have a wonderful time. Yeah, but uh, we came with our wives. <laughs> well, then you will see the beautiful cathedrals. <laughs> uh, you American men are always wearing coats and always so big and fat. Your name, monsieur? J.C. Dizers. Dizers. Welcome to La Belle France, monsieur Dizers. I shake your hand. Hey, not so hard. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, what is this? A can of Swanson's chicken fricassee? <laughs> is this yours, monsieur? Oh, no, no. It belongs to Swanson. Oh. Uh, somebody must have thrown it at me. Uh, why don't you keep it? Oh, merci beaucoup, monsieur. I'll put it over here. <laughs> Mercy beaucoup means thank you very much. Yeah, oh, I, I, I thought it meant he liked the chicken frigazee. <laughs> well, if he shakes my hand again, I'm cooked. I got a can of pork and beans under each arm. <laughs> hey, what, what are you doing, keeping them warm? <laughs> thank you again, monsieur. I shake your head. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, the pork and beans. <laughs> oh, they're not mine, they're not mine. I see that this belongs to a Mr. Van Kemp, eh? If you keep shaking your hand, you might find something that belongs to Mr. Hines or Mr. Hormel, too. Bum said, quiet, you ham. <laughs> Monsieur Bithers, are you sure you are not trying to smuggle anything into France? Who, me? Would you mind shaking yourself a bit, Monsieur Dibble? Shake myself? Please. Oh, no, no. I, I, I don't think I'd better. No, no, he, he'd better not. You see, uh, Mr. Dillard has a bad case of uh, scabiosa of the petunia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Is it contagious? Uh, no, but every time he shakes himself, uh, his uh, head falls off a little bit. <laughs> that can be fatal, you yes. know. I will hold your head down, Monsieur Dithers. Now you shake yourself a little. Well, just a little. What was all that? Well, I, I always jingle a little bit. Uh, you see, I, 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 I uh, yes, uh, he's, I, uh, he's wearing a charm bracelet. <laughs> yes. I will investigate this later. Now let me see the suitcases. Oh well, here's uh, mine. Uh, do, do, do you want to look in it? I'm not sure. Look in my eyes and tell me whether you have anything in there to declare. I declare I have nothing to declare. I won't bother to look. Monsieur Divers? Uh, oh, I, I have nothing to declare either. In your case, I will investigate. <laughs> oh, what a sneaky look you have, Monsieur Divers. <laughs> what a time you will have in Paris. Oh, <laughs> well, there's really nothing in there. I will look. Shirts, socks, ties. Sacre bleu. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Uh, put that back. Uh, Mr. Jerry, I think it's your girdle. <laughs> I presume that this garment belongs to a Madame Gossard narrow line? Oh, no, you don't. That belongs to me. There are certain times when every man wants to look narrow as an arrow. You buy your own tummy tuck in. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Gathers, look. Uh, l- l- look what's coming this way. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> La Belle France. Ooh, la la. Yeah. <laughs> Monsieur Vernet. Hey, oui, uh, excuse me, gentlemen. I will be back in a moment. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Take all day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess that's what you were telling me about, huh, Mr. Gathers? Uh, oh, boy, what a figure. <laughs> well, that's not a figure. It's the sum total. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she does something to me. When I look at her, I quiver all over. <laughs> so I hear. Uh, you gentlemen did not tell me you had influential friends, but the young mademoiselle did. Eh bien, you are passed through customs without any further delay. Oh, thank you, Boku. Yes, uh, mercy, mercy. Uh, uh, thank you also. Uh, thank you for the canned food. Oh, it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. Bonjour, gentlemen. Welcome to France. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> Holy smoke. She hit the jackpot. <laughs> ah, who cares? I can pick up that stuff later, but I'll never get another chance to pick up this crepe, Suzette. <laughs> you. Ah, uh, Monsieur Dives, are you not? Uh, <laughs> and you? Yeah, oh, hey, yes, and I, I'm Mr. Bumwood. Uh, I mean, I'm Mr. Dagbum. Uh, Woods, uh, no. Uh, hey, hey uh, uh, who am I? <laughs> you are Dagwood Boomstead. Oh, yes, thank you. The genius from America who has come to help us. Oh. I, I I hardly recognize myself lately. <laughs> Let me introduce myself, eh? Uh-huh. I am Yvonne Hibert, and I work in Monsieur Dupre's office. Mm-hmm. You'll be seeing a lot of me. <laughs> See, I hope not. <laughs> How will we ever get any work done? <laughs> oh, Monsieur Boomstead, you are so cute. Yeah, oh, go on. <laughs> I am so. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, yes. Hey, I'm cute, too. <laughs> I was just on my way to see Monsieur Dupre on board ship when I recognized you from your pictures. Oh, uh, what sort of work do you do, Miss Ebert? Public relations. My job will be to keep you happy in France. Oh, my. Oh, they couldn't have picked anybody better. Well, let's get started making me happy. Oh, what's your telephone number? Where do you live? Oh, when do you get off work? Uh, have I missed anything? Yeah, you forgot to ask who's on first base. <laughs> Bumstead. Well, well, look, uh, J.C., we, we've got to meet our wives at the train, remember? Did anybody ask you? <laughs> well, I have to be running along now, too. Here is my car. Oh, well, thank you. Give me that. Mm-hmm. And where can I meet you tomorrow afternoon? <laughs> Maddie Moisel. <laughs> Dear, I will write it on a piece of paper. We can have an aperitif at four at the Café de la Paix. <laughs> I'll be there. And my phone number is Moma 2354. Now, 
Can I do anything for you, Monsieur Boomstick? Yeah, uh, oh, <laughs> yes, uh, will you let me know how uh, Monsieur uh, Dupre is? Moma, two, three, five, four. Well, very well, but why are you so interested in Monsieur Dupre? Uh, well, he is supposed to kill me as soon as he's feeling better. <laughs> certainly is, Blondie. Gee. Oh, what's the matter, Alexander? Well, everybody's so educated here. Even the conductor speaks French. Huh? <laughs> yes, I noticed that, too. Oh, well, we'll be in Paris pretty soon. Aren't you excited, Julius? Yeah, MoMA 2354. <laughs> I just can't wait to see the Louvre and all the famous French dress shops. I think I'll buy a French bathing suit. Oh, Cora. Don't I see enough of you as it is? Yeah, good darling, you're rather quiet. What's the trouble? Mm, trouble, huh? I'm worried about that duel with Mr. Dupre. Uh, do you suppose I have to go through with it, Blondie? Of course you do. Uh, what? For the honor of the J.C. Divis Construction Company. Yeah, yeah, but the company hasn't got any honor, Mr. Diggy. <laughs> uh, Pop, I asked the steward about that Mr. Dupre and whether he was a good shot. Yeah, I suppose he said he was one of the best pistol shots in France. No, He's one of the best pistol shots in the world. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a much bigger place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Say, wait a minute, Dagwood. I've got an idea. Yeah. Don't forget, you get to choose the weapon. Yeah, what, what do you think I su su should suggest? Uh, feather dusters at ten feet? No. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Sawed off shotguns in a telephone. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my. Blondie, you're going to look beautiful in black. Hey, Mom, don't you think we ought to keep Pop around for a little while longer? No, Blondie, I don't think that's a good idea for Dagwood. But I think it's a dandy idea for Julius. Oh, Cora, Momar, 2354. Oh. No, I think it's a good idea. Dagwood will name the weapons, and Mr. Dupre will just have to back out of it. Why, he doesn't want to get killed any more than anybody else. Hey, you know, I think you got something there, Blondie. Oh, boy, I'm going to enjoy the scenery a little better now. <laughs> I can't wait to see the Eiffel Tower. Oh, you can have the tower. I'm planning on seeing another Eiffel. Kind of a long ways from home, aren't we? <gasps> Smell that wonderful air. Yeah, yeah. Well, what is that? Uh, crepe Suzettes or frog legs frying? What is that? Oh, Dagwood. Oh, isn't it a wonderful old hotel? It has so much old-fashioned charm. <laughs> yeah, and and that's not all. It's old-fashioned. <laughs> Did you see what was under the bed? <laughs> a boot jack. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly enjoyed having breakfast in bed for once. Yeah, but gee, the, the, the French are sure funny, aren't they? The, they could hardly stand to see me put horseradish and brown sugar on my poached eggs. Well, ever since you did that, I felt a little queer myself. Come in. Oh, good morning, Alexander. Oh, Eddie, come with me to Chicago. Never mind. <laughs> oh, boy, folks, this is ruined living. And then Cookie and I have a wonderful breakfast. Did you have it downstairs? Yeah. We didn't think there'd be room for all we wanted on the bed. Oh, goodness. You didn't have any trouble paying for it, did you? Oh, no. I just signed for it. Oh, that's good, son. Uh, did you sign your name or my name? I signed Mr. Dither's name. Oh! <laughs> Alexander, your old pop's mighty proud of you. Well, now that I've checked in, I'll check out again. I'm going back downstairs. What's the rush, Alexander? Well, at breakfast, I happen to meet a little French girl. Well, don't run off anywhere, Alexander. Mother! I hardly know the girl. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, oh, oh, well, yeah. pardon me. Au revoir. Momar. Two, three, five. Three. <laughs> well, Dagwood, 
We have some business to take care of today. Yeah. I, I got to get started supervising some of those housing development plans. The first thing is to get rid of this silly dual business. Mm. Now, you've got to have someone who'll talk to Mr. Dupre. Oh, yeah, that's right. Or oh, how about Mr. Dithers? Dagwood. Mm. He'd sell you down the river just for the laugh. Why, he'd have Mr. Dupre armed with a saber and you fighting him with a stalk of wet asparagus. <laughs> Besides, Mr. Dithers told Cora he'd be busy this afternoon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Moomart 2354, yeah. So, to protect you, Cora and I are going to be your seconds. Holy smoke! And if you don't think we two girls can handle that man, well, just stop and think how easily we handle you two men. Mm-mm. Okay, Blondie, mm-hmm. you've got the job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, and then we'll all go over to his office in one of those cute little French taxi cabs. <laughs> Yeah, well, go ahead and knock, Blondie. Right. After that cab ride, I'm I'm afraid of nothing. Neither am I. Go ahead and knock, Blondie. On the Are you Monsieur Dupre? Oui. Come in, ladies, and... <laughs> there is that man again. Yes, you know. <laughs> Hello. Uh, remember uh, me? Remember you. I will never forget you. Oh, Monsieur, oh, uh, <laughs> Monsieur Dupre, we two ladies are acting as his second. Since he was the one who was slapped, we have the choice of the weapon. You are entirely correct. Mm-hmm. But before you choose, let me warn you that I am an excellent swordsman. It would be just... <laughs> and he would be sliced like salami. <laughs> are you uh, trying to make me hungry? Now listen, you stop slicing the air so close to my nose... Or I'll take this paper knife and go zip, 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 and give you a haircut. Please put that down. You make me very nervous. <laughs> now, uh, what weapons have you chosen? The weapons will be sawed-off shotguns. Sawed-off shotguns? Yes. Sacre bleu. Uh, wouldn't that be dangerous? <laughs> it ought to be fatal. Uh, but, 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 monsieur, at, uh, what is this thing? Well, uh, we'll fight it out in a phone booth. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, it's, it's, that is ridiculous. <laughs> we will both be killed. Uh, well, that's better than just little me being killed. Uh, uh, well, uh, maybe I have changed my mind. Yeah, well, I, y- you have? Oh, <laughs> Well, in that case, I insist on the duel. Mm. Uh, but, monsieur... Yes, but don't you like the duel? <laughs> yes, but I am not a fanatic about it. Uh, okay, but don't be foolish. Never mind, never mind. I demand satisfaction. Don't overdo it, dear. Uh, I, uh... Monsieur, monsieur, I, I beg of you, do not force us into this. I will apologize. It is too late. My honor is at stake. I want a duel. I insist. Very well. I... You insist. I... Uh, yeah, but I didn't say positively, uh, did I? Uh, well, uh, look, uh, how, how about it? We'll just call the whole thing off. Oh, thank you, monsieur. You are most generous. Uh, is it, uh, what is your name? Uh, well, uh, I, I thought that you knew, uh, monsieur Dupre. I am uh, Dagwood Bumstead, the man that uh, who's going to help you with your housing development. Dagwood Bumstead? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, monsieur, forgive me. Welcome to France. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 be careful. Hey, hey, stop kissing him. Now, stop that. Well, I can see you two want to be together. Uh-huh. Come on, Cora. Uh, Blondie, uh, wait just a minute, dear. Uh, monsieur Dupre, this is Mrs. Bumstead. Uh, Madame Bumstead, je suis enchantée. Yeah, uh, and I this is you. Mrs. Dillon. Enchantée. <laughs> Never mind, I catch on. Uh, come on, Blondie, we've got a lot of shops to visit. We'll see you later, Daddy. Goodbye. <laughs> Monsieur Bonstead, huh? would you really have dueled with sodo shotguns in a phone booth? Uh, of course I would. <laughs> but I did have some other weapons in mind, too. Oh, what were they? Well, we could use erasers and try to rub each other out. <laughs> Well, 
Here you are, Mr. Monsieur Dupre. Mm. Uh, you can see the changes I made in these drawings, see? Uh-huh. Oh, ah, yes, there. yes, Monsieur Bumstead. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, okay. It is a good day's work. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll go back in the other room and finish it up. Oh, no, 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 Monsieur. We must take the rest of the day off. Mm. Uh, perhaps we can have an aperitif with a charming friend of mine. Uh-huh. Her name is Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> oh, yes, oh. Monsieur. She is, uh, to use the wonderful American expression, a gorgeous hunk of junk. <laughs> she uh, sounds just a little bit familiar. <laughs> oh, what a woman. Lovely black hair. Beautiful big brown eyes and... Uh... Mm, what a woman. Yeah, that's the same girl I'm thinking of, too. Uh, no, I do not think so. Oh, Monsieur Bumstead, I am so jealous of her. Mm. In the last three years, I have shot three men who were in love with her. Gee, who were they? Her three husbands. <laughs> I hate myself when I do these mean things. It hurts me terribly. Yeah, it must hurt the men a little bit, too, that you shoot. (laughs) Yes, but I am a demon when I see her smiling at another man. I'm a raging beast. I want to kill somebody. Oh, my. Andre! Oh, hello, Bumstead. I've been looking for you everywhere and couldn't find you all over. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, Monsieur... Uh, Monsieur Dupre, this is Monsieur Dithers. Oh, Monsieur Dithers, it is a pleasure. Uh, tell me, how are you enjoying your trip to France? Monsieur Dupre, it is magnifique. I have met the most beautiful girl you ever saw. <laughs> oh. Mother Nature must have shortchanged at least five girls to give this one all she's got. Oh. <laughs> Monsieur Dupre, I know a girl who is even more beautiful. Well, if you saw me with this girl, I know you'd be jealous. <laughs> yeah, and I know you'd be a little dead, too. <laughs> yes, sir, you'd go mad. Yeah, you're so right. <laughs> I'm meeting her at four at the Café de la Paix, and I think she's giving somebody else the slip. Uh, <laughs> Monsieur Bumstead and I were just about to go out for an aperitif, but we will go to the Café de la Paix, too. Uh, one moment, I will call Yvonne. Yvonne? Hello? Mama, deux, trois, cinq, quatre. Did you say Momar 2354? Sweet. Well, well. Mr. Giddy, Monsieur Dupre was just telling me how he shot three of Yvonne's uh, husbands. Uh, uh, but they do not laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, they're sort of croaked. There's <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, sir. So. That is very strange. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's going out to see somebody else. Uh, Bumstead. Oh, if I catch that man, I will take him by the throat and I will... Bumstead, you go to the Café de la Paix and uh, have him get rid of that crepe Suzette I ordered for four o'clock. Yeah, uh, crepe Suzette at four o'clock? I, I don't understand, Mr. Davis. Bumstead. Yeah. Uh... Get going or I'll cut off your salary and you and your family will have to swim back to the States. Yeah, oh, but, 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 but... Sure, but, but... hop in your motorboat and get going. <laughs> Now, where's that slip of paper I wrote the addresses of the shops on? Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, I guess it's the wrong side. It says, uh, meet me at 4, Café de la Paix. Well, I didn't write that. Well, neither did I. Well, it's a woman's handwriting. Blondie, come on. Let's see which one of our husbands is mixed up in this. Oh, Cora, well, it couldn't be Dagwood. Oh, don't be too sure. Remember, this is Paris. Let's get to that cafe. Place. Oh, my. Monsieur. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no postcards. No, no. Monsieur, huh? these are the real thing. American postcards. Yeah. Pictures of Hollywood. Oh? Griffith Park. The Sunset Boss. <laughs> the Labroya Tar Pits. <laughs> Perhaps you would like a can of... Swansons chicken fricassee? No, 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 thanks, thank you. Oh, 
your boom stand. Oh, oh. Uh, Mademoiselle, I'm glad to see you. Oh, and I am so very happy to see you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I had hoped it would be you. Yeah, what? Oh, uh, we oui, miss you, did us. He is nice, but oh, you are much, much cuter. Oh, cut it out. Oh, yes, you are. Now, now, wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea about me. I don't care if you get the wrong idea about me. <laughs> now, now, don't, don't get so close to me. Oh, why not? <laughs> You're fogging up my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, oh, Monsieur Bouté. Yeah, now, now, you, you better not get too close to me. You'll, you'll cook my goose. Well, <laughs> come a little closer and I'll barbecue oh. it. <laughs> Keep away. Oh, why? What would happen? Let's see. There. <laughs> well, what happened to me then? The waiter just opened a bottle of wine. Oh, look, uh, uh, Mademoiselle Hebert. I, uh, well, I came to tell you that Mr. Gittes is coming right over with, uh, you know, a monster of Dupre. Mm-hmm. And, and if he finds you here, there's going to be a lot of trouble. Oh, that man. Oh, la, la. He has threatened to shoot any man I even smile at. Yeah, well, don't smile at me at all, then, please. Hey, now, now you got to leave right away. No, no. I will not do it. Let him shoot the man. He can't scare me. Well, he can scare me real easy. Ah, uh, here, let me hold your hand. Oh, but I... Oh, but Blondie. So, I have competition. That's not competition. That's my wife. <laughs> and Mr. Dibbett's his wife. Well, this is a switch. I thought it would be Julius. Dagwood, uh, was it you who had this date at four here? Blondie, dear, I'm as innocent as a drifted snow. Well, it looks to me like you've drifted too far. Now, now, now wait a minute. Oh, and Mr. Bear, uh, this is Mrs. Bumstead. Oh, how, how do you do? do? And uh, Mrs. Dibbett. How do you do? How do you do? Yes, I can tell at a glance that you were waiting for Mr. Dibbett. Oh, that is right. But you see... You Oh, there's Mr. Dibbing. Yeah, we'd better hide under the table here until the police come. Come on, Blind. Well, hello, Julius. Oh, hello, Warden. Ivan, where is the man you are waiting for? Quickly tell me. I want to know. You want to know? We. Oui, I want to know. Shall I tell him? No, no. <laughs> Don't put the poor guy on the spot. Go ahead and tell him. Was it Dagwood? It was Monsieur Didel. Didel? Oh, it was you. No, no, it was Bumstead. Yes, no, I'm innocent, I, I think. I'm tired of being afraid to say hello to anybody because you will challenge him to a duel. We will straighten this out right now. Go ahead and shoot Monsieur Didel. Very well. I will do it. Oh, no, 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 please. Go ahead and kill him. Let's make an international incident out of it. Maybe it will teach you not to be so jealous. I think that's a wonderful idea. It would also teach Julius not to be quite such a gay old turkey. <laughs> now, just a moment. You're all being a little foolish about this. Oh, you are so right, Mrs. Bumstead. I, I can't stand it. I feel terrible when she's with me. And terrible when she's not. I don't know what to do. Oh, now, Pierre, mon cher. Oh, now, please. But I, I can't help it. I don't know what to do. Well, I have a wonderful suggestion for both of you. Yeah, no, Blondie always has wonderful ideas. <laughs> anything, anything, what is it? Well, why don't you two get married? He has never asked me. But, 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 but I have. Haven't I? Never. I know how it is, Yvonne. I had to propose to Julia, too. I finally said, will you marry me? And pointed both barrels at me. <laughs> Yvonne, will you marry me? Oh, but of course, oh, Sherry. Oh, what do you know about that? Oh, Mrs. Bumstead, I, I cannot thank you enough. I just never thought of asking her to marry me before. <laughs> How did you happen to think of it? Oh, Monsieur Dupre, that was no idea. It's just an old American custom. 